Welcome to Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to play the violin and viola with body, mind and spirit. This is your host, violinist Zlata. Hello, in this episode I'm going to talk about the confidence paradox. And before I do that, I give an example from my own uh, experience. And it's quite difficult for me to share this, but I'm doing it anyway because maybe people can learn from it. Um, about, uh, I think, 10 years ago or something, I don't know if I was already uh, learning at, studying at the conservatory or not. But uh, what I did is that when I had to perform, sometimes I did it all alone without any accompaniment, which is already very scary. It was with um, kind of recital setting, so lots of people just staring at you, silent room. And uh, what I did, I took very difficult uh, pieces like Wieniawski and then I studied it for uh, the day before and then I thought well it's it's piece on my level I must be able to play this and then of course uh, things went wrong and it's always a lot of lots of things that go wrong are <laughs> in your head uh, so I don't even remember uh, how much uh, it went wrong actually but let's say uh, I didn't really feel comfortable and this is the confidence uh, paradox, because I was actually quite nervous for these kind of settings. Uh, but on the other hand, I took a piece from the top of my level for kind of, you know, showing off or kind of proving that, that I could do something or something. Um, and uh, to kind of compensate for that. But actually that makes it only worse. And that's what the confidence paradox is. And I see that a lot with uh, stu my students and also with other people uh, that because they are insecure, they take really, really difficult pieces, uh, don't take enough time to prepare it, don't take an enough time to practice it um, and take, take themselves to situations which really kind of challenge the stage fright and make it even worse. And that is very destructive uh, for yourself. Um, what I've learned from that is that whatever piece I play, if it's, if it's that simple or, uh, or difficult, it doesn't matter. I really prepare it for a very, very long time and don't think, oh, it's under my level, I can just play it. <laughs> um, and of course, I only play things that I really have control of over. So I don't really take a lot of risks. I don't know if that's uh, a smart way, but in that way you can feel confident and have more control over the situation, is that you make a kind of fair estimate that uh, you don't kind of overestimate things, but you play a bit on the safe side, of course not too much, otherwise there are also people who don't do anything. <laughs> well, that's very safe, but that's of course not the solution. Uh, because maybe you can recognize it in yourself that you, that you don't prepare easy pieces enough or that you choose too difficult pieces for your performances. Uh, so I'm actually very curious what your experience are of the confidence paradox. Do you bring yourself into difficulties by choosing a way too difficult piece to be, uh, which you choose kind of to compensate yourself? Um, or do you play simple pieces that you don't really uh, prepare? Or are you perhaps someone who, um, who, who knows how to choose exactly how much time he must prepare and which pieces you must take? And maybe you can share with others uh, how you pick those pieces, because it would be very interesting to see how many people suffer from this confidence paradox um, and perhaps what the solutions are. To that. I also uh, already named uh, a couple of solutions, so don't be afraid to uh, play pieces that are not the most difficult piece you ever played and take a lot of time to practice and don't throw yourself into very scary situations with, which are totally unnecessary. Um, so I hope to hear from you. Bye bye! Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Zlata has a gift for you the free workshop Weight versus Pressure. In this, she will teach you how to play the violin or viola effortlessly and comfortably.
the secrets to creating a beautiful tone and to touch people's hearts with your violin or viola playing. Weight vs. Pressure includes the 30-minute video masterclass Weight vs. Pressure, the 44-page workshop binder and the Weight vs. Pressure body scan you can do yourself. People use it as a valuable reference for years. Go to www.violinlounge.com forward slash free dash workshop. Fill out your name and email address, go to your email inbox to confirm, and Zlatter will send you the login details for the workshop within one hour. Enjoy happy practicing and beautiful playing.